Hello friends! Today we're going to be making my version of a vegan broccoli and cheddar soup. Before I was vegan, I always loved having a warm bowl of broccoli and cheddar soup on a cold day. Unfortunately, the traditional version of the soup often uses cheese, milk, and sometimes even cream. Not only does that make the dish not vegan, but it also makes it super high in fat and calories. Luckily, it's easy to achieve the same consistency and a very similar flavor using plant-based ingredients. The ingredients we're going to be using for the soup are broccoli, cauliflower, white onion, nutritional yeast, dried thyme, garlic, non-dairy milk, and vegetable stock. To start, I have a large pan over medium heat with a drizzle of olive oil in it. To this, I'm adding one cup of chopped white onion, and I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes to soften. Then I'm going to add in two cloves of crushed garlic and one teaspoon of dried thyme. Once this has cooked down for a few minutes, you're going to add in three cups of chopped cauliflower and three cups of chopped broccoli. The cauliflower will not only add more veggies and nutrition, but will also help make the soup creamier when we go to blend it later on. Next, we are adding two cups of vegetable broth, and I'm also going to be adding salt and pepper to taste. From here, I'm going to turn up the heat to medium high and bring everything to a simmer. Make sure you check frequently to make sure there is still enough liquid and add more if needed. Cook until the veggies are nice and soft. Once they are soft, I'm adding in half a cup of nutritional yeast. The nutritional yeast is going to act as the cheese in the soup because of its cheese-like flavor. Typically, the non-vegan version of the soup would use cheddar cheese. I'm going to insert a comparison of the nutrition between half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and half a cup of nutritional yeast. As you can see, by using the nutritional yeast instead of the cheddar cheese, we're reducing the calories by about 130. We're going from 18 grams of fat and 60 grams of cholesterol to zero grams of each. We're also cutting the sodium from 380 grams to zero grams and adding six grams of fiber. While the cheese does have more protein, that protein is really not as healthy as the protein you're getting from the nutritional yeast. I have actually learned that the protein found in dairy, such as whey protein and casein protein are actually linked to the development of diseases such as diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. I will link a couple articles below that talk more in depth about this if you want to learn more. The last thing we're going to add is one cup of non-dairy milk. Make sure that it's unsweetened. Once we add this, we're going to bring everything back up to a simmer and simmer for just a few minutes. Once everything has come together, turn off the heat and let everything cool down for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. Next, use either an immersion blender or an actual blender to get the soup to your desired consistency. I like my soup to be pretty smooth with just a few small pieces of the cauliflower and broccoli. If you don't have an immersion blender and don't want to take the soup out of the pot to put it into a regular blender, I've actually seen people use a potato masher. This of course won't get the soup as smooth, but if you are okay with a chunkier consistency, this is a good option. The finished product is so satisfying and still just as creamy and cheesy as the non-vegan version, but with much less guilt. It is healthy, full of nutrients, and of course, harm-free. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.